Today, we're going to be demonstrating how to configure GitLab.com as a version control provider for Terraform Cloud. As you can see here, I have an example project created on GitLab.com hosting some simple Terraform code. We also have a master branch and a change branch. Let's go over to Terraform Cloud, and here we can see that we have no workspaces yet. Let's add GitLab as a version control provider. To do this, select Settings in the top, and then on the left-hand side menu, select VCS Providers. From here, we'll select Add a VCS Provider. From the drop-down, select GitLab.com. This will pre-populate some fields for us, but we need an application ID and secret to finish this. We'll have to get these from GitLab. Back over in the GitLab tab, in the top right drop-down, select Settings. And then on the left-hand side, select Applications. Here we'll create a new application for Terraform. Let's call this Terraform. Now we need a redirect URI, but this is an example value that's going to be replaced shortly. So for now, let's just use example.com. None of these boxes need to be selected. So at the bottom of this page, just select Save Application. Now we have the application ID and secret that we need to plug into Terraform Cloud. Select this icon to copy the application ID and then we'll paste it into the application ID field on Terraform Cloud. Let's do the same for the application secret. Now select Create VCS Provider. This will give us the callback URL that we need to put back into GitLab. Select this icon to copy it. And then back in the GitLab tab, let's edit this application and change example.com to the URL that we got from Terraform Cloud. And then at the bottom of this page, select Save. Now, over in Terraform Cloud, we should be able to connect this to our organization. Select Connect. And then Authorize. When you see the success message, we've now connected GitLab.com to Terraform Cloud. Back in the root of our organization, let's create a new workspace for that project that we have on GitLab. Select New Workspace, and then from here, select GitLab.com as our version control provider. We should see the project that we created on GitLab pop up here. Select that, and then select Create Workspace. We'll get a message that it's waiting for configuration. And after a short amount of time, we'll see configuration uploaded successfully. Now, since this Terraform code uses AWS, we need a way to authenticate with the Amazon AWS provider. So let's go over into variables on Terraform Cloud. And then under the environment variables, we're going to add our AWS access and secret key that we need to authenticate with the provider. Select Add Variable, and we'll type AWS Access Key. And then paste the access key for AWS, and select Save Variable. We'll also add the AWS Secret Access Key. and then paste that value. And since this is a secret value, let's mark it as sensitive, and then save that variable. Now, we should be able to queue a plan. This will run a Terraform plan by pulling in the Terraform code that we have in our GitLab.com repository and running a plan. can see that we have four to add in this plan. After a short while, Terraform Cloud will ask if we want to apply this.
for now, let's discard this run and not do an apply. So if we go back to the root of our workspace, we can see that we have a discarded run here. At this point, let's go back to GitLab. If we go back to the project, we can see if we look in integrations under this repository, that Terraform Cloud has created a webhook here. So let's open up a merge request with the other branch that we have pushed to this repository. Select Create Merge Request, add a message, and then submit the merge request. Now if we take a look under CI, CD, and Pipelines here, we can see that we have a Terraform Cloud Pipeline running with this change. Select that pipeline and select this to actually view this in Terraform Cloud. When we open up a merge request, it's going to run a Terraform plan, but not an apply. You can see that the plan is run, and again, we have four things to add here. Once this is completed, let's go back to GitLab. We can see that this pipeline has passed. Let's go back to the merge request. And within this request, we can see we have a pass pipeline as well. We should be good to select merge. When we actually merge a merge request, it's going to fire off another pipeline for Terraform Cloud. We can see it running here. Let's select this one and view it in Terraform Cloud. So this is an actual merge pipeline. This will not only run an apply, or a plan, but give us the chance to run an apply after this. Now that the plan is done executing, we can select confirm and apply. This will run a Terraform apply and actually uh, provision the AWS infrastructure that we have defined in this template. Here we can see we've created four resources in AWS. If we go back to the root of our runs page, we can see that we now have a successful run on this pipeline run for merging. That's an overview of how you can configure gitlab.com to work with Terraform Cloud.